Hey guys, welcome to a what's in my bag video. This time I will be going to Spain for 10 days with one of my best friends. We will travel through Andalusia and we will be backpacking, going from one place to the other. And since it's only 10 days, this time my bag will look very different to when I am traveling for several months or even to a beach destination bag. So I thought I will show you what is in my bag and everything I am taking. Right, so this clip is something I missed on my previous backpacking trips. I think it'll come in handy when I buy cereal for breakfast or I know myself, if I see a flavor of crisps that I haven't had before, <laughs> I'll probably want to buy it and this will keep it fresh. Then obviously my adventure hat that I bought in the north of France um, in July with my girlfriends. You can watch that video as well, see where I bought it. Um, this is definitely going with me. Then lots and lots of tissues because I have allergies and these are scattered throughout all of my luggage. As a day bag, I always use tote bags and I personalize this tote bag. It has my brand name on it and in general I think that if people see me walk around with the camera vlogging, they might see what's on my bag and Google it and that way they can find who I am and what I do. It's kind of a bit of self-promotion because I really suck at it. So this will be my day bag. And in general, I also have them uh, as a laundry bag when I go on longer trips, um, simply because they fold up very tiny, very lightweight, just love tote bags in general. Then let's get into the big bag. As you can see, I have my makeup bag here, my toiletries here, pajamas, two shorts, these are flower shorts. As you can see, they are very colorful and they go with every single color of tops that I have. Then two shorts, these are biker shorts that I wear underneath my skirt and my dress to prevent chafing. So I have a black one and a nude one. Then this is my long black trousers that are really light, I love these. My favorite long skirt, one blue dress, one red play suit, which I think will suit the Andalusia team very well. Then I have three shirt-like tops, which are green, orange and yellow. Then two tops, a white one and a pink one that don't have sleeves, one shoulderless black top, one purple top and then one red blouse, um, which I think will be ideal for the Spanish vibes as well. Then I have my underwear, a bralette that my best friend got for me for my birthday and we will be matching if we happen to go out one night. And then one bikini. A towel, very important if you're gonna be staying in hostels. This is bacon, you might have seen bacon already in my previous video. That video was about travel related facts about me. So if you wanna learn more about bacon, definitely check out that video. Then this is the bag that I always keep all of my electronics in. Uh, it has camera stuff, chargers. It now also has my wallet. And in my wallet, I'm taking my boarding pass and my QR code of my vaccination. And then of course I have a couple of cards that I can pay with, my idea, um, my driver's license just in case we find a whole bunch of people and want to rent a car and some cash, which is easy because it's the same money as in Belgium, the euros. So for now I'm just putting this here and that is it. Do you want to see inside of this bag? Oh, I almost forgot two very important things. A lock. You will need a lock to put on the lockers in the hostels and I love this thing. This thing makes sure that you can charge multiple things at the same time and it doesn't take up too much space in your bag. And then I have some more camera stuff in here. Right, if I think of anything else whilst I'm on the road, I will let you know. For these shorter trips, I really pack in outfits. I don't pack separate stuff. I make sure that I have an outfit for every single day uh, so that I don't take too much with me. I still have plenty of room in this bag. And since I'll be flying with Ryanair, I just don't want to carry too much with me because I know how strict they are. Usually I put my shoes in here, but this time around I will just be taking the shoes that I have on my feet. I won't be bringing any extra shoes. And that is it. I love this bag so much because you can literally see every single piece of clothing and just take it out. No packing cubes needed, no reaching through the whole bag to get what's at the bottom. You can just see everything and take anything. You might also be wondering what's inside my toiletries bags. 
don't look too much in detail because um, it's already broken. I have my brushes, a foundation, a fixing spray, some little perfume testers, um, powders, brows, eyelashes, concealer, uh, and some lipstick, also some tweezers. But don't put any uh, nail files in your hand luggage because they will take them from you. That is number one. And then number two is the main one. I have a detangling serum, a clip to put my hair up, very important, especially because we are gonna be hot. Um, my nail polish to top up my pedicure. I love this compact razor which is from Venus and I don't need to take or buy any shaving cream because these knives already include the shaving cream which is a very big travel hack. I always use these um, but I've started using a different kind and it does, seems to not really fit into this thing anymore. It's kind of too big, but it's fine, it'll do. I also have a shampoo bar and a bag to put it in to transfer it from one place to the next. Um, especially if you're gonna be moving in between places, you don't want a wet shampoo bar in your purse. My anti-conception pill, simply because also I don't want to be on my period whilst I'm on holiday for 10 days. Some period stuff anyways, because you just need to be prepared as a girl. Then a small bug spray, obviously everything you bring in hand luggage has to be under 100 milliliters. So um, I found this empty one of 50 milliliters and put some stuff in here. Then I have a small bottle of sunblock. I have one for my face, that's uh, a new one. And this is actually an old one for my face that I'm just gonna use on the parts of my body that I think might need it. A stick deodorant, then I have some bags here of body milk just in case I do get burnt. I think the main area I would get burnt is my shoulders or my arms, um, but they are very tan already and I don't think they will burn easily anymore. Obviously a small comb for my hair, some plasters because we will be walking a lot, a small conditioner, my allergy medication. Some painkillers in case I need them. This to put my hair up. I don't use them often but you know just in case. Then I have a lot of small toothpaste um, because you know I just want to start using these up. Um, and my toothbrush is inside of this. Then I have this is a kind of cream that you put you can put it on shaving you can put it on anything. It's a Greek wonder cream pretty much. And I will always take one of these with me. Then small nail clippers always come in handy and some makeup wipes. I think I have everything covered now. I also have an entire script for my videos which also serves as a travel program and it also includes an entire list of food that we will need to try. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and that you liked it. Are you excited for the videos of Anna Lucia to come? Then definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. We will be visiting Sevilla, Cordoba, Granada, Malaga and also probably the Pueblos Blancos, the white villages like Ronda. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to go there for so long and I'm excited to take you guys with me. So. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!